the fact that Mewtwo was kind of buffed a few patches ago, it's going to be really interesting to see. I mean, Wadi was like one of the premier Mewtwo mains when the character had its time to shine back in Smash 4. So we'll see how things go here in Ultimate. Character hasn't had a lot of time in the limelight. Yeah, I was recently watching some Japanese VODs from last weekend where uh, you saw like a Mewtwo secondary actually do really well. Ended up winning the tournament. Not as like a solo Mewtwo or anything, but still using the character and uh, winning priest activant. So uh, yeah, you can do some things. I think this matchup though is going to be interesting. I want to see uh, how much the tail hurt box is going to work against Wadi, just because how big Pikachu's hitboxes are. Yeah. Right now he's doing a good job neutral. Also something interesting, like, I haven't seen Wadi play Mewtwo that much in this game. In Smash 4, he was very, very good at playing like a uh, defensive type of style of Mewtwo. And I wonder if that same type of style is effective in, in this game. The new Shadow Ball nerf, or sorry, buff for Mewtwo really helped. It, just because it has less in, like you can throw it out a little bit safer. Yeah. So I, I actually really want to see uh, how that works out right now. So far, so good though. Really even game. I think Wadi really understands of like one of those things of like, I have to really Oof. be careful with the neutral wall after two neutral airs. Goes for that low forward air swipe and then finally gets a stock. But like I said, he kind of understands what neutral is against Pikachu. You kind of have to be ready to challenge Pikachu like so, because Wadi doesn't give Derek the opportunity to try to go for the usual Pikachu shenanigans. You know, you go for you go for Thunder Joel and then you go in for finally a grab or a forward air or an aerial because you forced your opponent out of shield. Mm -hmm. He's really well yeah. aware of what how to how to, how to handle it because look every time he goes for an aerial or he, or he either comes down from a thunder jolt he's there to challenge him for it. Nice, yeah, I really gotta say Wadi's uh, doing a really good job, like you said, using that that nair to interrupt Pikachu in the air. But there's that drag down nair with Pikachu's own into uh, the other smash. I think it's funny too how Pikachu's nair in this game works similarly to uh, Mewtwo's from the previous game. All right. So Mewtwo can kind of fall victim to his own kind of combos. That was good from, uh, from Derek, for sure. Oh, no oh, tech. Oh, no tech. No Tough tech. angle to recover from. Wow, and Derek brings it back. Dude, Derek was like, Pikachu's edge guarding options are insane. I'm going to hit you with like four different things that can kill you. And if you get hit by one of them, you're probably going to die. That was actually really, really good. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of interesting to have this as the first match of the year for us because... These are two characters that when you look at the ultimate meta, they're considered, you know, pretty powerful. It's just not a lot of representation to see Derek kind of show up with Pikachu. Definitely shows a lot. Great opportunity there going for side special just to kind of stall that opportunity to come back on the stage. Also stopping Derek. Goes up for Shadow Ball because he's set up this low recovery here. Going for the option select. I do like how he knows Derek's first option is going to be to try to jump. And then he tries to call it out. That's a confirm here. Wadi off the stage. What's the choice here? Gotta say, very impressed with uh, Derek's drag down follow ups right now. He's been very consistent. Either getting the up smash, getting grabs. He's just really showing Pikachu's options and combo game really well. Uh, this re-grab though? Oh, Shadow Ball doesn't hit the ledge. That's actually really unfortunate for Mewtwo. It used to back in Smash 4. It had a, like, a really weird bouncing animation where it could actually hit the ledge back there. It was not enough here at 120 with Rage, especially on Mewtwo. Oh. But unfortunately, that was not a good angle for Derek. Uh, not, I'm not going to blame him. That angle is not super easy to get. He said it makes it look easy. It's, yeah. it's not. It is not an easy angle for sure. Confirm? Yep, and that's nice. all show for game one. Derek taking it. Did he jump before the Thunder there too, just to make sure yeah. he Yeah. Yeah, wow. the earlier because if you if you if he had stayed on the ground, the Thunder, the clouds wouldn't have reached, so he had to jump for that one. Cause the cloud nice. the cloud the cloud has a nice height, so you have to like really amount for that the clouds as well. So mm -hmm. good stuff to Derek for mm -hmm. taking game one. I mean honestly Great some stuff. of the players Great stuff for Derek Knox right now. Yeah, that was a, a really good comeback, and he capitalized heavily. Yeah. After getting that stage spike edge guard. And Derek took out Glug, and then he took out Crispy Ice to defeat Terror Bear 2 0. Not an easy feat there. Now to find game one against Wadi here in winner's top 128. Uh, this is still lot, the best two out of three, too. So yeah. Wadi has to, he has to adapt right now, or he's <laughs> sits to losers. And Derek continues this pretty good run he's got going for him. So, but uh, I like watching uh, more Pikachu players. I was watching a lot of uh, what's his name, Shiny Mark, recently. He's a really, yeah. really good uh, 
I think he might be South American Pikachu. Okay. I don't know. But he's really, 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 really good with the character in a lot of ways that uh, people only think like Isam or maybe a few others are pushing the character. But I think more and more people are uh, committing to being good with Pikachu. Because he's like the character that's really good, but you have to, you know, put in the work to be really good with him. So a lot of people don't want to play a super difficult character like that, but... Yeah, he's definitely not a pick-up and play character. He's more of a character that definitely requires time and dedication to. Uh, but we'll see, man. I mean, so far, Derek definitely shows that he's putting time and dedication to the character, and it kind of shows up while he has game one against Wadi. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's like we said earlier, it's a character that's really weird in the meta. Like, it's a character that by design and by paper, you look at Pikachu's, you know, pancaking, his hitboxes, his confirms, his combos. He's pretty much the way that we saw Pichu at the beginning of the game, but just a lot more consistent. But you don't see Pikachu a lot in terms of grand finals for locals unless it's ESAM, you know, or, and in this case for online, the online space, you don't see a lot of Pikachus out here, but we'll see, man. We'll see. You know, maybe even the fact that it is online too, maybe deters people from playing a difficult character like Pikachu, but yeah, it's cool to see people like Derek. It's online, offline, it doesn't matter. Gonna use this amazing character to max potential. There's a back air is already starting. Like, you already know. That's like the one move you don't want to get hit by Pikachu at, at zero because you just get carried off the stage. And if they're on point, then getting carried off stage by Pikachu could just be, be lethal sometimes. Yeah. Go to Wadi to get that parry and then try to come back for the grab because he knows he has so much stage control at the situation. Doesn't want to give that up. Missed grab there on the landing. Tough call, man. I mean, well, that's the thing about Pikachu as well. Really good landing lag on a lot of the character's moves when you think about it. Uh, Wadi forced for the go for the low recover here, and he re gets red here by Derek on the forward smash. Yeah, I don't think that was the sweet spot forward smash. Actually, it's actually pretty difficult to consistently get the sweet spot of Pikachu's forward smash. You have to be like perfectly spaced, which is kind of funny. All right, really even right now though. Both that pretty much kill percent. You two very strong. I'm wondering if Wadi's gonna think of uh, throwing out the disable. He hasn't used it just yet. And the hitbox for Disable is pretty deceptive in this game. Yeah, so far, like, Wadi seems to be in the right man. Oh, no. Okay, good. He's able to get away. I was going to say, I was so close for Derek to get the confirm there. Wadi, so far, seems to be in the right mindset of, like, I know that I can call out Derek going for a jumping option because it's usually something Pikachu would do. So you can see that he's already trying to prematurely cover that by going for Shadow Ball, then forward air. Or even what we saw earlier, he tried to go for Shadow Ball, up air. Sorry, up smash. Yep. Yeah, the anti-air up smash on YouTube is very strong, but he just unfortunately didn't get it that time, but still. Uh, going back to even right now, these guys, uh, they're playing really well in neutral, getting like some short combos, but they're just spacing around each other really well. Yeah, that's what you're It's actually interesting to see, considering like the difference in size and combo game of the characters, how well they can space around each other. Like, they'll, they may get hit a little bit, but they won't take any like really longer dangerous combos for the most part. Nice parry on that Nair. Okay, that's yeah. a pretty decent trade for Wadi to get the almost max charge Shadow Ball. Taking like a dash attack, that's, that's fine. Oh, they did change oh. Mewtwo's down throw to where like if you don't DI it properly, you can actually just get forward air much more <laughs> consistently. Yes, yeah, that's, that's kind of what we've been seeing from Wadi do a lot too. Wow, able to great DI on the up throw too. You can always up throw to I. So you can actually DI the up throw to get away from it. Yep. That's why it's even better for the Pikachu player to uh, try to read your DI on the up throw to get that thunder work consistently. But there's that classic up throw kill from Mewtwo. One of the coolest up throw animations, I gotta say. And there's that Shadow Ball dash attack, easy 39%. Yo, Wadi, man, he's trying his best to run away with his lead, not make the mistake of uh, dropping the lead like he did last game. Nope, no sweet spot again. So that force match, even light Mewtwo is just gonna eat that right now. Yeah. He goes for the lowest possible angle to actually recover there against Eric. And he reads the roll from the get up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice dash back shadow ball to catch the neutral get up. That was a really good movement from Wadi. Really good punish. And uh, honestly, yeah, with the shadow ball changes, even if that didn't work out, like hitting Pikachu, there's so little in lag now that uh, Mewtwo's fine if that misses like that. You can probably buffer any other fast move really quickly. Great yeah. stuff to Wadi, though, taking that game. Even it up 1 1. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, really too. yeah. Yeah, they're, they're both playing really well.
This is a very interesting uh, first match. Not even just the characters being played, but the players, the way they're playing is really cool. Yeah, honestly, Wadi had excellent conditioning there, like I kind of said earlier. His ability to just understand that, okay, Derek wants to always go for a jump opportunity or a roll. I can try to, I can try to like literally just read him. I think, I think it's going back to what you said. It's a lot of neutral exchanges, so they're very well aware of how each other's characters' neutral works. And so, in knowing that, they're kind of sort of like playing around each other, and there's not one player significantly getting more of a combo than the other. Mm -hmm. Those type of games are always interesting to see. Like, really evenly matched player, like both trying to figure each other out during the match, things like that. So let's see, let's see game three, winner of this, moving on in the bracket. I didn't see the counter pick, but oh, we're going right back. Oh, Pokemon, Pokemon battle on Pokemon Stadium 2. I guess this is fading. Nice start for Wadi though. Yeah, excellent oh, 53% already. What a yeah, here on the roll. He turned that big string into such good ledge pressure, 73% already. Just really good use of Mewtwo's Shadow Ball and down tilt. Like, hitboxes in general just lock down the ledge really safely. And now, man, I don't know, Derek's eating these Shadow Balls pretty heavily. Even going through the Thunder Jolt as well. I, I don't know why he's uh, shutting down the left side of the stage pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, he's you pretty much put Derek at 121. Derek finally with a little bit of a break. Gets the landing there to down smash. Good percentage now. And he's the one holding all the cards as Wadi kind of slows through the cracks here after that neutral air from Derek. Mm -hmm. 48 is not too bad though from one uh, neutral win. He kept himself out of just being completely overwhelmed, I would say. And, you know, the nature of Mewtwo being light and the rage Mew Pikachu has right now, you can probably swing this if he plays his cards right. Oh! Oh my god, I was, I was the other way, but still, that's a really good percent. Has an opportunity to actually take the first stock from Wadi right now. Okay. You weren't kidding when he said swing this. Oh! oh nice! Nice punish! Wadi, little bit, a uh, little bit off with that teleport to the, to the stage there. Really good catch there from Derek. And you already know Pichu's low percent potential <laughs> combo game is very scary. So if he gets a hit on Wadi, he can really, really build this lead. Yeah. Of course, uh, Wadi doesn't want that to happen. Might be looking for the kill throw here too. Yeah, he's got to find the setup too and the right opportunity to put enough pressure on Derek to actually have him hold shield long enough. Forwarder, yeah. Is that That's fair? A crazy, yeah, that forwarder has crazy startup. Yeah, I think it's still six frames in the game. It doesn't seem different from uh, Smash 4, so... It doesn't, but there are just so many times where, like, you see a move hit and then the hit stun is not good enough to just go through and then Mewtwo can just swipe you on that forwarder. Oh, yeah, I was talking about Mewtwo's Florida being frame 6 might be. But yeah, that, that move is very strong, very fast. One of his best moves for sure. Oh no, I'm oh. from there. You can yeah, the drag down is... there from Mewtwo is, doesn't seem as easy to get follow-ups in this game before. I, I feel like it's specifically because it's Pikachu, because Pikachu is one of those characters that does enter a really small low profile. There's a few times where he's tried to hit Derek with a forward air or get a grab, and because Pikachu's just so short or he pancaked, he, it's really hard for me to actually grab him. He has to go for that really low recovery here. That's good for Derek while barely missing the up smash here. What a good yeah. call out too, because he knows where, how Wadi was going to land this time around. Okay, just barely off on the drag down up smash there too. Wadi getting another chance to take the stock first. Again with the ledge pressure here. Derek not gonna do a neutral get up. He's gonna jump over the shadow wall this time. Oh! That's get enough pummels in there too? Mm, not enough not though. Yet. Yeah. Trying to get as much percent as possible, potentially see if you catch him on some bad day on the up throw, but Derek's not giving it to him just yet. Very, very close for both players, but there's that raw down there. It's actually so strong he can get to work, but Derek does the least smash classic. Come down with invincibility, charge forward smash the opposite direction, and they just roll into it because everyone does that for some reason. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take oh, it. Look, now we look. on the last stock. They're pressuring Wadi to one side of the stage. Oh, nice platform extension here. Wow, pairing one hit of the forward air is not enough. Oh, double forward air. 
speak of the devil here. Wally with some stage control, down tilt, no, no follow up. I like how he just tries to hold on the oh. stage, but the last hit of quick attack. Kind of serves Wally. Both players goes for the disable finally, but just not finding the tech chase on the platform. Oh. There it is. That could oh. be, yeah, that's it. That that's it. That's it. That's it. The that's angle it. down two to get the extra knockback. Wow, that was so smart. Wally remembering that disable is ridiculous in this game. Throw it out. Especially in the saving it for the last stock of game three. 